Greetings, peace out there in blog land. Uh, this is Devin with you with Focus Blog. Um, updating, doing a post here for our class. Uh, we were asked to blog about our discussions on Islam in our pop culture class. And three um, different sources that really stood out to us. Well, the first store, source that I would like to use is The Danger of the Single Story by Chiamandi Adichi. I probably butchered that name, and I do apologize. But um, The Dangers of the Single Story, how she talks about just profiling people just by looking at them. And I have to say that I have even incorporated, this had such a strong influence on me that I've incorporated in my work and what I do. I'm a low ropes facilitator. And so when we have groups come out to camp, they want to experience team building and leadership skills. And I use the short story aspect of it now. And what I do, I, you know, pair them off, the folks that come out to the camp. And I ask them, I tell them, if you were to look at one another right now, what would you expect out of one another as far as their single story? And then throughout the discussion, they talk a little bit more and they figure out, oh, hey, I may look like this, but I really do this kind of thing. So it's actually been a really cool eye opening experience. And I've actually um, enjoyed facilitating it, and I've even started using it myself. Like, I'll go around and I'll ask people, like, what's your single story? And tell me what you think, and I'll tell you what I think kind of thing. And it's really cool, and I've used it a lot on my friends. I've tried to use it on my mom, and uh, that's been a little crazy. <laughs> but uh, next we'll go with uh, the next um, source here that really, like, I just can't keep, th I can't stop thinking about it, is Aladdin. Walt Disney's Aladdin. And in the way it was portrayed in Real Bad Arabs, I just cannot get over it now. Like, it never dawned on me that it depicted Arabs in such a bad, bad fashion. And even from the beginning of the song, when it talks about coming from a barbaric land, that just, if, if that had been a song about anybody else, like, I come from a trailer park, or I come from a you know ghetto it just wouldn't have gone over as well as it did with disney i guess in the arabs so i just that has really stood out to me and i did not ever think of it in that way but i guess because you know you're so young when you see aladdin aladdin was one of the first movies i ever saw in the movie theater so woo. <laughs> but uh that really, really tripped me out a bit that it was even broadcast. Even with the film, the film was very interesting, Real Bad Arabs. Um, really, like, shined a light on a lot of stuff that I just don't ever think about, you know, the way uh, Muslims are portrayed in media. Because in everything that we've been shown, they're very dangerous and they're terrorist and they're... Um, they're cold-hearted and they're murderers and so forth and from the Hollywood movies and it's simply not the case and that would leave me lead me into my next source which that when we went to the Islamic Center of the Shenandoah Valley I had never been to a mosque before in my entire life brought up in a Southern Baptist church um, I'm a back row Baptist I like to sit on the back row and don't give me the front row because uh, you know woo. <laughs> So, going to the Islamic church, and or the mosque, sorry, um, and seeing it firsthand was amazing. Like, it was, I was really nervous about going at first, but as I walked in, you know, people were welcoming. I had a co-worker that uh, is Islam and was at the, was, that's Muslim, there we go, not as, yeah, he practices Islam, he's Muslim. Uh, so, I had a co-worker there, it was really cool to see him and to see him in his element. Um, and even if I closed my eyes and I thought about it, so I closed my eyes and I thought, and like everything I was hearing, it was as if I was back in my own church. Uh, you had the preacher or the whoever talking, and some people were kind of dozing in and out, like they were not really paying attention, like they probably should have. And then you had little children running around that someone should have just, you know, told him sit down right now kind of thing but uh you know it was like so many comparisons with my church experience and the mosque that 
it was the same message in a way that you need to uh, love one another, take care of one another. And Christianity preaches the same, um, the same values. But I know Christianity with Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior, and uh, Islam. I'm not too sure. I'm guessing it's Muhammad. So that was the really only difference that I picked up on it. But nice people really enjoyed the experience. Um, would recommend going to a mosque if you've never been, just to kind of get a feel for it. And finally, I just want to have a just a few, just a few closers here as far as the revelations and uh, the specific anecdotes that enlightened me or whatnot, but uh, I kind of spoke on them throughout the blog about different things that have really touched me and other things that have really opened my eyes to the situation. So I won't spend too much time re going regurgitating that information. But um, all in all, uh, it's a great, great class and a great discussion with Islam and pop culture. It's very interesting. Um, like I said, never would have guessed half the stuff that I've seen now so um, well I've talked way too much I see I'm going on over six minutes if you have stood to listen to me for six minutes give yourself a pat on the back because usually people listen to me a lot longer so take it out the easy out there focus bloggers and uh, stay classy wow. uh, can I hit the button to stop <laughs>